Hey y'all, Jamie O here, and today I'll be sharing how I started my first successful business when I was just five years old. Hey y'all, so a week ago I shared in the channel updates video that I would be that I will be posting a video about how I started my first successful business at just five years old. This is that video. So, so if you watch that video, you know that I'm making some changes to the channel so that people can become more empowered through food. So make sure you share all my videos you can, so that you can help not only yourself, but the people in your community to become more empowered through food. The other part of that is financial literacy and entrepreneurship. So if you check out the description below, you can learn how to join the Entrepreneurs Club, which is something that I'm... So the videos will be completely free, but the Entrepreneurs Club will give you access to me 24 seven so that you can learn how to start your own business become more financially savvy and basically just have a better life a more empowered life um so let's get started so i think it's important for you guys to know a little bit more about me so that you can understand why you should even be listening to me um the past few years i actually started doing consultations one-on-one -on -one with friends and other business owners and potential business owners to help learn how to start their own business Um, I actually started my first business, successful business, when I was five years old. I was in kindergarten, and I happened to notice that there was a pencil box in the hallway on the way from the bus to my classroom. So in the pencil box, it was like 25 cents a pencil, and there were always these really cool pencils. So, you know, your little kid, anything like that is more exciting than just your typical yellow number two pencil. So... About once a week, my mom would let me get one of those fancy pencils. She would usually just buy me a pack of pencils and they were usually pretty festive, but it was something special about getting them from that machine. People in my class started noticing that I had like these really cool pencils and most of them had your typical yellow number two pencil. Occasionally you'll see like, occasionally there was like a purple one, but I always had very different pencils. Mind you, these are wooden type pencils, so not like mechanical or anything like that. So because I think I made like a big fuss about wanting to be able to get pencils out of, that, out of that machine, my mom actually let me get one about once a week. She, of course, said that this was a misuse of money because 25 cents for a pencil was kind of ridiculous when you can get a whole 10 pack for a dollar. I completely agree. But <laughs> um, so one day I actually got a color changing pencil. So it was like when you held it, it would it was like a it was like a snakeskin textured pencil. Um, and when you held it, it would change different colors. And it was really cool. It was kind of like a mood ring, but much more interactive in a sense where like it wasn't necessarily dependent on the temperature of your body as much as it was about the length of time you held it. So I actually had people in my class saying, oh, I want to use your pencil. Oh, let me see your pencil. And so I realized that people always wanted the pencil that I had. So what I did was I started selling the pencils because no one else in my class would go to that pencil machine. I'm not even sure so many people went to that machine other than when they just absolutely needed a pencil for a class. So what I started doing was I had a little change counter thing um, from that you'll see like someone at an arcade have um, to give you change for your dollar um, that I had gotten from Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and so it was filled with quarters and basically I got like $2 worth of pencils, so eight pencils out of the machine one day before class, went to class, sold each pencil for a dollar a piece, a dollar. So I made 75 cents in profit off of each one of those pencils. And I did that for the rest of the school year. So every day, I would go by that pencil machine and buy anywhere from anywhere from two to four dollars worth of pencils and go to class and sell them actually um, and the more obscure the pencil the better it was eventually I realized I didn't have to just get them from there I could get the ones from from the store but looking for more obscure pencils not just like your Easter pencil in a multi-pack there was a bunch like them but it was more so the ones that were so unique there was only one like that um, from there, I actually got enough money that I could start going to the school bookstore as well as to like stationary shops and getting like the little rubber grippers, um, different types of pencil cap erasers, um, the other type of like holdable erasers. Um, and I would sell them, I was selling them like crazy anywhere from 50 cents to $2 for 
each of those items, I was making a decent amount of money. So um, I had basically no competition because I mean, figure we're kindergartners, but um, but I learned a lot from that business model. And one, it was that if you have something that people want, they will pay for it. It might seem crazy to you that people were paying a dollar for just a simple pencil, um, but because it was different and because they didn't know how to access it on their own, they were willing to pay for it. Eventually, yeah, I did have people who knew that I was getting the bulk of them from the pencil machine right there in the hallway, but instead of them just going to that pencil machine, they bought them from me. So that taught me about customer loyalty as well as as well as, well as customer demand. Not so more, not so much about demand as far as as much as controlling price, but more so about people are willing to pay for the convenience of something. And I've used those lessons in every business I've created since then and that I've been able to basically work for myself most of my life. Um, the few times that I didn't were mostly intern type, internship type things or where I was doing something like work study. Um, so just so you know, I'm 27 now. My dad and I have a business together. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, we actually have a country store together, which is basically a convenience store, a grocery store, an on-in store all in one. I have a farmer's market and I have a baking business and else, but I also always want to teach people the things that I've learned. So if you'd like to learn more from me, of course, keep watching these videos. Go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell so you can get notifications when new videos come out from me. But also go ahead and follow the link in the description below so you can learn how to join the Entrepreneurs Club so that if you're trying to start a business, you can start that business. Don't just keep thinking about trying it and just hoping that you can do it. Just do it. Um, and I know that sounds easier said than done, but with the right tools, and I can help you with those tools, you, you can get your business started and get your dream on its way. As always, a special thank you to my foodies on Patreon for making this video possible. Please share this video so you can help others to become more empowered both through food and through financial fitness. As always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.